back around to the question that we asked before we took the break. Do you, how different do you think your trajectory would have been had you turned down the offer to join the firm? How, you know, how, how big? No, 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 no. Now wait. And that, I don't think that, that question is 100% valid because I don't remember nature being on the radio records. My, my, my thing is not even so much musically, but I'm thinking about the politics that came with him joining the firm, stepping into all these other issues. Had you not done that, and, we, and now we're riding off of the track with Nori, all the mixtape records well, that, that had him on fire. But, but that was the firm well, that record. The record with Nori is a... As a definite, as a reaction to the firm record, it's definitely been noted. But you, you were still in the camp. No, what I'm saying is, Nori appeared on the firm album, but he wasn't a firm member. So right. when he appeared mm -hmm. on the firm album, is because I'm leaving. Record was my record. I forget that that, that was your was record. Running. Yes, and so to pay me back, as brothers do. He was making working on the album, and we was trying to do a song together. Mm -hmm. And so when I laid my verse, okay. I guess it was to the magnitude where you say, you know what, this might be bigger than what I'm thinking. Let me fucking put it together like this. Okay. Because mm. okay. I was never in the studio with Rest of Peace Pun and the brothers that's on the song with me. You know what I'm saying? Bad for Shout TV. out to them. You never because, heard their verse when you laid down your verse? Name? I don't know. Uh, he first. Said, nah, he was first. Oh. If you listen to, if you if you actually play that album. Mm -hmm. In the intro, in the intro, in that, it's just me talking. I didn't really have no dialogue, and it's just mm -hmm. me acting stupid because mm -hmm. I was just laying a verse. I was trying to show my man how dope I could lay a verse, how fast I could write a verse, mm -hmm. and how dope I could lay it. So it took me minutes to write it and, and lay it. You know okay, so back to the question: overall trajectory. I understand this question not, is not, tricky, not, but not. But but like I was saying, that was because. I put him on a, on a record that yeah, was on a bro. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. now, 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 I think the series. question is, how different right. would your career have been if you not signed with Trackmaster? I don't think that, I don't think it would have been as, I don't think it would have turned out the way that I would have liked it because, uh, for one, they had all access of everything that I was recording. So it's not like I had a song out there floating on the radio where labels could kind of like go into a bidding war and like some of these things that used to happen back in the days, like, hey, we're trying to fight over our artists and we're gonna put up who got the most money and stuff yeah. like that. It was never like that. It was always, they knew what I had because I recorded it with them. Mm -hmm. They offered the situation. It was pretty much, they constructed the whole shit. I didn't, it was no outside parties. So if it was up to me to create a demo and throw it to the radio and hope that everybody got it, it th that wouldn't happen because I didn't do that. I came in with them. What my man said, it's a green light, let's go. They good, they, they, they helping me do albums and you watch me go from a gold seller album to a 2.5 million working with them, you need to work with them too and they respect you, so they're giving you beats, so no matter how long it takes, it seems like this is the, the proper thing to do, they do. because they right here. Right. Who else is it? I didn't have a camp, you know, everybody was working under their own camp. Uh, Biggie, I mean, Puff had uh, the, the, the producers, yeah, you got yeah, Headman mm -hmm. over there, everybody got their little click of producers that they working with, and Trackmasters was, was right there hot the because they delivering singles. Yeah, singles, that's like fucking. crazy. Mm -hmm. Yes, they were. Right. So, this wasn't just a situation. My man just didn't have the business side. Facts, he facts. Team. He had everything else intact. Lined the up. loyalty, the idea. But when they came to him, they never explained to him the ramifications of, if you sign this paper with me, he might be mad. Or you need to go get your own people. They never set him up to say, go, yo, go get your own people. Do you, do you feel like Nas felt slighted? What you mean about me signing with Frank Lester? Yeah. Had to be. Had to be. Had to be. Because Why? at a point, in my eyes, it seemed like he was more hands-on as far as uh the development of of 
Was it 50? Was it? Me. 50 Cent was already his own person. He's not from Queensbridge. Right. So 50 Cent already still had ties to Corey Rooney. He wasn't directly tied to, you know, he had a, like a slash. You know, dudes used to have deals with he this slash. He was trying to chat message in Corey. Yeah. Power yeah. the dollar. C-R-E entertainment or something. So he still had other people that kind of like looked out for his best interest because he still had that slash. Yeah. So they figured out, hey, if we can't get it done, somebody on the other side will get it done. I was directly with them, mm -hmm. right? So now nah, it's probably had to feel slighted because, like you said, you know what I'm saying? This is my guy from the hood. My vision for him is different. So we used to sit in the crib and smoke weed and kind of like uh, figure out image. I had, that's the one thing that I never realized that you kind of, kind of, that what happens. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, you got the dopest raps in the world, but like, who the fuck are, are you? you? You know what I'm saying? How you look, how, how you, you dress, dress, how, how you, you marry yourself. Mm -hmm. So you we used tall. to have kind of conversations of like, how I want to look. Mind you, at this point, these, these guys are shopping in stores that I don't go in. They, these, I don't dress like certain, you know, I don't dress like well, that. Well, how was you dressing? Champion hoodie. I dressed in the Coliseum. I'm, I'm a, you know what I'm saying? I'm like sneakers, you know what I'm saying? Right. Jeans. I don't know if they care, but right. you care. Yeah. But you care more be, because be they cool. niggas watching us like us, to be honest. Nah, I just I stood, I just stood out. I, I just, the fact I just stood out. If you looked yeah. at the firm, right? Guys, you know, handsome guys, waves, pretty guys. I came in bald head, talking the hood shit, talking police and all kind of crazy shit. Shit that, you know, you only they they far removed, not far removed, but they removed. Right. No, firm they album. They paper. talking like. Crime bosses. Yeah. Not so, yeah, they're talking with Gambino. They're talking. <laughs> yeah. I ain't talking Gambino. I'm talking <laughs> hood, yeah. you know, uh -huh. pre DMX. I'm talking hood nigga shit. Right. Mm. So, it always, it looked good as a whole, but internally, that whole situation was just a little too crazy mm. because I think people just, I think. The vision of it changed too too much. Like you start out with one some, and then you deal with so much stuff internally because, like, I, you know, you lost a, a, a member. So much shit is happening because with each individual, they have their own entourage. So you might say the firm might be a four man, five man crew, but with four man, five man crew, everybody got their own. Everybody, so. Foxy got a whole so family. Like, yeah. And then when well, I speak from Queensbridge, we're going to feel like we we, we kind of entitled to his ear a little bit more than y'all guys. Like, I don't know when y'all met him, but yo, I, I know him when he was little. Right nigga. What's up? Right. You know what I'm saying? This hot fuck. Trap trapper turned smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth you heard. Mama thirst you heard Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse This the way you need to surf, you heard